guys, my name is Anna and some of you already know me. For those who don't, my name is Anna and I've been having my YouTube channel for a while now. The first video that I did was when I was going to Cal State Fullerton during college because I was a little anxious about doing a presentation. And after that, I actually enjoy doing videos here and there. YouTube actually emailed me asking me if I wanted to make some money and I thought like, no, being a psychotherapist, I didn't want to do that. And then they emailed me again and I declined making money with YouTube. And now that I wanted to actually do it because I've been doing more videos in the last year, I, you know, things changed with YouTube. Now they ask for a thousand subscribers. So, you know, I'm, I'm getting there. So I want to take the opportunity to do this video and actually uh, share with you about what I do with my channel, you know, my channel. People, they've been asking me about the phrase that I use always saying from Anna's world and asking what do I exactly do in my channel well when I say from Anna's world I share things that I do you know in, in my life actually meaning that whatever I show whatever I do especially when I talk about things for the blind it doesn't have to be like that or not every every, every blind single blind person out in the world it, you know functions the same we are just you know individuals like any any anyone else we're not all the same of course we share the disability the visual disability which it's a pain very often it's challenging i'm not gonna say that that's not it is you know it, it limits us because 80 percent of what we humans absorb out there in the in the real world uh, is through the eyes you know through the eyesight and um it is challenging however even though I am already totally blind, I only have some light perception. Um, I still, you know, just sleep like anybody else. And what I do and what I share through my channel, and the reason why I say from Anna's world is because that's how I function. I share, you know, what I do and how I function and how I view life, how I feel life, you know, through the eyes of someone that is totally blind. But meaning that it doesn't have to be like that for anybody else out there especially not saying that every single person does things the way i do and uh yeah not just focusing on one particular thing i actually share in my video in my channel through my channel i share applications that i use you know that i use as a blind person i love apple so i use the iphone uh, apple products are the ones that i find accessible for me i know some of my blind friends are um, android lovers and hey that works for them for me i use iphone and i share about applications that i find accessible and that i think that would be helpful for other people i one of the things that i really really love and enjoy is getting my makeup done and my hair i actually got my hair hot pink so those are things that i share you know i have shared with you some videos somewhere i um, share with you how I apply my mascara and my lipstick. I always love lipstick since I, you know, I was a teenager and I could see 2020. <laughs> when I had my 2020 vision, those are things that I enjoy as a, you know, just as a person, not as a blind person. I mean, just I'm alive. I'm a human being, <laughs> and those are things that I like to share. And I always think about my blind people my blind friends, you know, women, blind women out there. And I know, you know, we, uh, they're just like anybody else. And I always think about the accessibility, how makeup should be more accessible for us. Um, I don't know, just any products out there. This society is totally designed for someone sighted, you know, for the sighted community, sighted people. So with the blind struggle, and whenever I do things in my world, you know, from Anna's world, I always think about my blind people and how they, you know, how could I help and share what I know and share what I find accessible. And that's why I decided to do videos and share and I actually do my videos in English and Spanish. It's a little extra time, but I enjoy doing that. I depend on all this technology for the blind. Uh, Jazz, Jazz for Windows is one of my biggest, biggest friends. It's my, I can't live without my Jazz. Now with a voiceover and one of the biggest things that I enjoy to do you guys along you know with uh, makeup and fashion and technology is traveling I love I love I love to go places and you know getting to find out what is out there 
and traveling is totally visual you know it's a visual visual thing and that's when I get a little sad I have to share I have to admit I have to confess that that's when I feel a little get a little blue because I can see the beauty however once I go out there and enjoy you know see the new places where I go and visit uh, I, I, I don't know it just makes me happy I enjoy I wish I could see everything out there but I don't and then I just you know use my um, my applications uh, that I use with the iPhone and I I don't know I just enjoy and that's where I do most of my videos anywhere I go out there so that's why I say from Anna's world a guide dog you know guide dogs like my guide dog Capri that I have now um, it's a big part of you know from Anna's world uh, I was a cane user for a while, but um, I got my first guide dog in 2003 from Guide Dogs for the Blind, second guide dog from Guide Dogs for the Blind in Oregon as well. My first two guide dogs were Yellow Labs, love them. I got my first guide dog in, you know, in July 4, which that's when we celebrate uh, the Independence Day here in the United States. and that. You know, became my real independence because after that I became a guide dog dependent. And now I have Capri, so Capri goes with me everywhere. Capri is part of, you know, from Anna's world. We travel, we just go everywhere. And um, I don't know, I just thought I would share with you. I actually, um, I, you know, was diagnosed with retinitis pigmentosa when I was in my last year of high school. I lost my sight gradually. Uh, I have to do videos on that because people have asked me and shared with you about RP. There are so many, many, many um, uh, trials out there, you know, trials. There are so many trials um, going on out there about retinitis pigmentosa. There is hope, and, uh, but now, you know, I lost my sight gradually. And so I function, you know, being totally blind. I have to figure out how to do things, how to find applications, how to get out there. Uh, with a guide dog, with a cane, and just, I don't know, everything comes to, because the, this world is designed for someone sided, I have to think about how to do things, and yeah, I'm going all over the place. <laughs> but anyway, I thought I would just share with you about um, what my channel is all about. It's about what I do, how I do things as a blind person, how I enjoy things out there without having my sight. As I was going blind, you know, since I was diagnosed with retinitis pigmentosa and I was losing my sight. I had to figure out what I was going to do as a blind person. I did have sight for several years so you know I kind of had the opportunity to adjust to whatever sight I was having. Decided to you know go to college and graduate. I have a master's degree in uh, counseling with an emphasis in mar marriage and family therapist. Uh, from Cal State Fullerton. I actually love going to school, studying, not doing homework, but I you know, just love learning. I'm addicted to learning, so I went back to Cal State Fullerton, got a second master's degree in gerontology. I love the degree, love older people. So I have combined my two degrees, and uh, I don't know, I'm hoping to, before I die, to go for my PhD just so people can call me doctor <laughs> and anyway so yeah Anna's from Anna's world it's just things that I do in my life as a blind person hoping that someone out there uh, maybe one of my blind people uh, that I love <laughs> might benefit and learn something you know a little something from what I do um, I don't know even if it's just about an application or makeup that I find accessible and they can look for it or just getting to know about you know places out there places that I visit I know some people have I have received a lot of comments about um, you know being a guide dog user and people uh, just getting inspired by that so uh, I don't know that's um, that's what I you know that's why I do my videos just hoping to it is you know first of all it's fun it's fun I love pictures I love videos People always ask why do I enjoy taking videos and pictures if I'm totally blind and I can see. But hey, uh, videos and pictures are not only for me; those are you know for my family members, friends, and just sharing out there. And that's what I enjoy. So anyway, whatever I do and say, it doesn't have to be like that for any, you know, for every single blind person out there. I invite you to follow me on my channel, 
and follow me on Twitter. I also have my Instagram. I'm posting more on my Instagram lately, just you know, sharing pictures and thoughts. And uh, yeah, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like to follow me. And well, I'm gonna be coming up with new videos, new things that I've been, I'm gonna be doing. I do my videos in English and, uh, and Spanish, so if you know anyone who speaks Spanish, go ahead and tell them about me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Adios!